That's a good one. Very good. Right now, come on. Yes, yes, yes. 80! If I had to take these first three turns with as tight a driving line as possible, leaving ourselves with a straight line to the first uphill right-hander. Steer to the right and tap brake to begin the drift before the knuckle on the left. It's better to do this a little early than I do it here so that you can get a lot closer to the road wall on the right side here on the exit. Start steering to the left and begin the drift early here in order to keep and maintain fourth gear all the way round these two corners. Then line up on the left with as little steering correction as possible in order to not be steering as we hit fifth gear on the low part of the road on the left to avoid air time on the exit. I try to exit the ramp ever so slightly off the left so that I can land the two left wheels down before the others. I felt this gave me a little speed boost but I could be mistaken. This is one very long right hand sequence. Ideally we are trying to full send the car through all of it if we have that rare but perfect line. In order to correct the line you can make very quick release taps of the steering to give you a little more distance before you line up for the exit or very quick release taps of the accelerator in order to increase the effect of the steering with the goal of exiting the corner as close to the corner wall as possible and at the same time be as parallel as possible to the wall of the short straight. If we got the exit right from the previous corner we should be able to line up on the right flat area of this slope track in order to begin the turn. Any airtime here will end the lap. Turn in left and begin the drift. I try to be in the middle of the track here to avoid getting too close to the dip on the left as this will bounce the car and at the same time avoid the drifting back wheels from hitting the right wall. Use small drift taps to adjust for the exit line down the hill. Turning in here we aim to do this corner sequence with one smooth drift just after the knuckle on the left. But I found it more consistent to do it in two small drifts. One small setup drift halfway through the first chicane corner, then another small drift towards the middle of the hill to line up the exit. Good. You can go to the left or the right of the flag depending on your line, but if I went to the left of the flag I found I was crashing either on the jagged road to the left of the flag or having too much angle in this next uphill with the back wheels hitting the wall on the right as I started to drift, so I continue to do it on the right of the flag. Turn in early to the left and begin the drift. Use additional brake taps to adjust your line with the goal of exiting the corner on the flat part of the slope track on the right to avoid air time. Right. Pull steer to the left here, also naturally speed sliding to gain more speed. Then, as we take the drop down, angle the car to the right in preparation for the next corner. Start drifting on landing so that we can get tightly around this corner thanks to the nice wide line we had on our landing, aiming to give ourselves a straight line through the chicane on the exit. Use the flat section on the left of the slope track to avoid air time, and then adjust slightly right and left to avoid the obstacles on the way to the finish. 80!